Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know that I sound like a demon and uh, that's because I'm ill as always. But I thought that I wanted to get this vlog out there because it's Samhain uh, or it has been Samhain or Halloween. And if I shall wait for my voice to recover, I might as well not publish a Samhain vlog because then it's going to be too late. So I guess I'm doing this anyway, even though the doctor told me to rest my voice. I'm not very good to follow instructions. Anywho, uh, in today's vlog I'm going to talk about how I celebrated Samhain or more known as Halloween and when does a voice like this even suit the occasion better than it does now? I mean, I sound like a demon and it has been Halloween so this voice maybe is a cool effect on this Halloween video. I don't know. It suits the occasion. So how did I celebrate Samhain? Well, I celebrated it with my family on Liseberg in Gothenburg and uh, why did I say Liseberg in Sweden? We say yes, Liseberg. Anywho, they had like a Halloween celebration and I thought it was cool to go there with my family. And uh, some footage are on screen right now. And uh, well, this is how this looked like. And... I also did an ancestor altar for Samhain. Uh, that was more of a private practice of mine. I uh, I did my Samhain altar just for myself and to celebrate and recognize the, my ancestors. And that was more the more witchy thing I did for Samhain or Halloween. Since I'm Christian, many Christians seems to have something against Halloween and I, I don't know why. I'm not one of those Christians and I don't really know why they are so obsessed with the pagan holidays like they are bad or like the non-Christian things that exist around the world. Maybe I'm just progressive, uh, progressive enough. That's why I think like that. But I really struggle to see why me so many Christians have it against Halloween. I don't, I don't get it, because in the Bible they always talk about honoring the elders, honoring the dead, the ancestors and follow what's right and whom better to follow than your ancestors? They know what's right, uh, probably. I don't know, I don't see anything. I don't see why it's a bad thing. But I guess that Christians, other Christians, won't accept people like me either. Uh, we who are witches and Christians, I, I can't see anywhere in my Bible where God speak against witchcraft. They talk about other things such as demons and sorcery, but it has nothing to do with witchcraft as we know it today. So I'm really struggling to see why so many Christians are so hateful and so against Halloween. 
and why you need to be either witch or Christian or you need to be either LGBTQ plus or Christian or you be either from the world or Christian you see what I mean you either that or this or Christian you I, I don't I, I can't see why why we can blend everything together and just be nice to one another I also did a little photo shoot um, that footage is on the screen right now and um, I am a survivor of domestic violence and I wanted to visualize my fear which I felt when I was with my ex-boyfriend who who um, always did beat me up and stuff and uh, I wanted to do art from my fear because that's my way to heal and my way to cope with it and that's why I made it in not because to make fun of such things it's a way to cope with my own trauma not to make fun of everybody else's I'm also reading these books right now this one uh, The Altar Within by Julia Tias it's a very good book for intermediate to advanced witches or other spiritual people regardless if they identify as witches but the but the reason why I think it's for in, intermediate people and above is because it doesn't talk much about the basics it talks more about how what to do like the next step when you know the basics already I'm also reading when is a better uh, time of the year than now to read of Blood and Bones by Kate Fruler I don't know how to pronounce that Kate Fruler of Blood and Bones uh, working with shadow magic and the dark moon and um, I'm very interested of in these uh, topics I am not that kind of witch or person that would use the dark moon to hurt anyone ever because I like to read about shadow magic and what you can do in your own life during the dark moon. I will do a video just about the dark moon um, or and how and how I uh, like to use it in Minecraft. I will do dedicate a video just for uh, that <clears throat> but I thought it was m uh, worth mentioning for the Halloween video this um, of Blood and Bones it's a good book to read on Halloween because it's that dark and mystic vibes it it I like I like the mystic vibes and um, yeah so Halloween or Samhain have been a lot of reading for me. Reading books and tarot readings. Uh, I have commun communicated with my ancestors through tarot cards as well. And my grandfather was on the wizard here. He passed away in 20... 12 
and I have until now only communicated with him through dreams but now I he joined me in when I lit a candle for him and for my grandmother he joined us and my grandmother didn't but she passed away not long ago like it was a year ago and he told me that she uh, didn't know how to come and visit or something. Uh, that she was too emotional too. It was very new for her. It was her first Samhain. Sorry, I'm going to cry. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm just stuck here. It's too emotional. But I did contact my ancestors, uh, the people I know that is my ancestors. And we talked a little bit. So this was it for today. I hope my voice is better next time I'm going to film. Which is tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. It gets better all the time. But I hope it's even better than today. Because today is not very good. Um, so... Please pray for me if you are someone who's praying um, or just wish me luck if you are an atheist. Everyone are welcome on my channel. Um, this was all for today. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye.